Today's Mac Voices is supported by Smile and the various flavors of PDF Pen. See how PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, and PDF Pen for iOS can help you do more with your PDFs at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at CES Unveiled in Las Vegas. I'm here with Lars of EVE to tell us all about what is new with their uh, home automation gear. Lars, it's good to see you as always. Good to see you, Chuck. So you've had a busy busy year, interesting year. Um, you've had some corporate changes before we get into the products. That is right. We rebranded into EVE, so we now have um, the company name. Um, borrowed from our product line and uh, the gaming products were sold to Corsair in California and uh, that makes us a smart home only company now. And and that's, I mean the gaming market is tough, the home automation market is tough, but, but you have made a very specific decision to pretty much stay with HomeKit only. Why? Well, we can use Apple's infrastructure, we can use iCloud and the Apple ID. Um, and uh, it's super easy to set up. You literally just scan a code on our accessories and you're ready to go. Um, we are just a company that's way too small to be able to do anything meaningful with user data. So why should we, why should we even collect it? Um, and that is Apple's privacy approach as well. So I, I like that. That's a really good point. We all, I think sometimes we all get a little paranoid over things. But then again, every time you turn on the TV news in the morning, there's another reason to be paranoid. That is true, and this stuff just doesn't track you. So I have a couple of these things in my house already, but let's let's walk through what all you're showing here today. Okay. So first of all, um, we have uh, um, a sister product for our most successful product, the Eve Energy, a single outlet switch. And uh, the EVE Energy switch is a triple outlet and it comes with a really sophisticated surge protection so you can plug all your valuable electronics into that, your audio components, your iMac and you never have to worry that um, some thunderstorm kills it. Um, also it looks really nice, it's very uh, sturdy, it has a thick cable, um, a nice weight to it, aluminum frame, very nice product. That, that's good. That's good. I, I, I especially appreciate the surge protection built in. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Um, and uh, you want the smart features, but you also want the safety, right? Um, you have uh, a new light strip, I see. Yes, uh, that is a really nice one. Um, you may um, remember our AVR flare product and um, the Eve, the, um, the the flare bulb, uh, the. Um, the AVR bulb, these were all decorative lights. Um, the EVE light strip is a different beast. It's got 1800 lumens on two meters, which is really bright. Um, tree diode architecture for the full color spectrum, full white spectrum. So if you use um, EVE light strip and you extend it, um, you can make that a functional light that easily lits up um, an entire room shadow free. That's, that's very nice. And, and it is also uh, Siri control? That's right, yes. Um, the technical difference to all of our um, uh, other products is for both uh, the energy strip and the light strip is that we chose Wi-Fi over Bluetooth. Um, and that was a conscious decision because in HomeKit, Wi-Fi is still quite a bit faster when it comes to uh, switching and uh, for a functional light. Um, and uh, the energy strip, which also may control lighting products um, and the TV, maybe um, you want instant responses. Okay. So I tell it what I want, and I get it pretty instantly. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What else do we have? I, there's so many things back here. I'm not sure what what is new and what isn't. Um, well, introduced uh, a couple of months ago as Eve Room, the second generation of uh, of our indoor air quality sensor now comes with a display, much more sophisticated sensor, and a built-in battery. And that is uh, what a lot of uh, people who used the previous generation um, wanted to see from us. Um, an energy efficient uh, a product that doesn't eat so many batteries anymore. I have the first generation of that, and I, and I love it. It's, you know, it, it, 
you don't think of that kind of thing as necessarily being that useful, but once you have it, yeah, it becomes very useful very quickly. Yeah, yeah. You just you you can monitor the air quality and you see patterns, and um, you learn over time how to how to improve the air quality. Um, you know, um, what was totally new to me is uh, the impact that candles have on, on indoor air quality. And that has totally changed my behavior at home and our behavior, the whole family. Candles? Yeah, candles. Candles, um, burning candles um, have a, a high output of, of all kinds of hazardous um, uh, stuff. And you I can see that in every room. I didn't know that. I'll have to look at that. I, well, I don't burn candles, so maybe that's why. Google it, and um, it's horrifying, really. Oh, good. We just killed the candle market. Sorry, folks. <laughs> just replace it with LED strips. Y yes. Good Good idea. Good idea. And then you can control the color and everything else. Yeah, that's true. And I think somebody here was smelling a, uh, selling a smart um, aroma dispenser. So maybe that's a way to, to get around the whole candle thing. Yes, but... Um Aromatic particles are also considered um, volatile organic compounds. Too much of that is probably also not um, healthy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll see Everything some... Everything comes at a price, you know. Yeah, and we'll probably see some smart devices here that will measure all that stuff and tell us, you know, that we shouldn't be doing it, starting with this. So, yeah. Um, are these, are the new products um, available now? Uh, Eve Lightstrip will come out in a few weeks in February um, at a price of $79. And um, the Energy Strip uh, will come out in March um, for $119. Great. And everything else is available then anyway. Uh, the website now, since, since you've gone through that transformation, what is the website? The website is now evehome.com. Great. Lars, well, it's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Folks, we'll have more from CES Unveiled in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.